a little box. Well, it's not actually a little box. What's inside is actually tiny for what it is. The final retirement uh, gift showed up. Uh, I had very little points or retirement points from the company left over. So about the only thing I could pick that was of any use was a really tiny uh, subwoofer. And I mean tiny. Uh, let's have a look what it looks like. Oh, free air. I always need, could use some more free air. And inside the box is the little box. Let's not drop it. And it's a PSB 100. It's a really tiny subwoofer. Let's see if I can pull that out and get it open. There we go. A box, box in a box in a box. Styrofoam. A little guy, it sure doesn't want to come out. Okay, they tied a knot in it somehow. There we go. No, we don't. Yes, we do. And there we go. <laughs> Isn't that cute? It, nice and black. Uh, okay. It only accepts a low-level line input, which is a slight problem because my amp doesn't have uh, LFE outs and this doesn't have high power in, so I have to do some splitting from the pre-out. However, it's supposed to go down to uh, 38 hertz, whereas my current bookshelf speakers only go down to 55, so that'll give me a little bit more bass extension. I'm not really expecting too much from uh, a tiny little thing like this. I think it's supposed to either have a 50 or a 100 watt Class D amp in it. I'm guessing on the Class D from its size. Let's see what's in the uh, little goodie box. I'm guessing the power cord. Wow, got no idea what that is. I'm guessing it's a, a power cord for another country. Oh well. The almost non-existent instructions and another tasty packet of silica. What we always wanted. Anyway, it might improve the sound a bit, it might not. I don't know, it looks more like a desktop, uh, like a desktop sub than a, something you could make a bit more sound in the room. Ah, we'll see what it does. Actually, I wonder if the uh, specs here, or if there are already specs, tell me what it has inside. Oops. That is the limited warranty. Says if you plug it in, tough luck. Okay, all it has is uh, instructions for how to plug it in. Is anything on the box? Okay, it says 50 watt continuous, 100 watt peak, 135 mil long throw woofer, crossover between 50 and 150, uses almost no power on standby. Oh, it doesn't say anything about its, uh... Okay, nothing else on the box. I guess I have to do some looking up on the web for what it, what it actually does. I'm pretty sure I read somewhere it goes down to about 38 hertz.
Okay, let's hook that little sub-series up to my amp and uh, find out just what it sounds like. Uh, follow along while I try to make the connections. Okay, we're going to pop out the connectors to join the channel, the preamp to the power amp. They look just like big staples. I can only do one for now. I've only got one connector. I'll put one of the conniption things back in. There we go. Got the little Sub Series 100 sitting next to an album so you get an idea of its size. And now I'm just looking for a uh, audio source. Summoning a source from the uh, Blue Sound node. Say a prayer for the rivers in the sun. Unplug the little sub. And the roads are washed. And the bridges break up. Plug it back in. He's a snow. Well, surprisingly, that little sub does seem to throw quite a bit of bass into the room, but it's also vibrating, so I'm going to have to find something to set it on to uh, kill those vibrations. And as uh, usual with electronic devices, the uh, Blue Sound Node promptly wanted a firmware update, so that's what it's doing now. It'll probably take it about 15 minutes to complete it. Uh, I'm actually quite impressed with that little uh, tiny sub from PSB. Well, the way the uh, little sub is set up right now, it's uh, set to cross over at 100 Hz and it's set about three quarters of the way up on its power settings. I am going to have to go through and uh, do a bit of setup to match it up with the current speakers, but it does seem to add a bit of bottom end oomph to the room. Quite impressed with such a little box. Well, as usual, like, comment, subscribe, and share if you liked it, and uh, thanks for watching. So long, bye bye.